Hello and welcome to Everlance. Over the next few minutes, we'll cover the basics of our new reports feature, from how an employee can submit a report on the app to how a manager can approve it on the dashboard. Let's jump right in. App users will classify as normal by either swiping, using work hours, auto-classify, or rules for expenses. Trips and expenses are automatically added to a draft report when they're classified as work. A new draft report is automatically created each month, but we could also support this on a weekly basis. Just reach out to your customer success agent or the support team to make this request. To submit a report, we'll head to the Reports tab, which is at the bottom of the iOS app and in the menu of the Android app. If we need to add or remove any trips or expenses, we could swipe to delete or click to add more. When we're ready, we'll submit the report to be approved. This verification should help filter out any misclassified trip that might end up on a data export. The Reports tab holds the past reports. If we scroll down, we'll see the statuses of these reports. Red dots mean there's a comment or a status update, Submitted reports include an activity log where we could comment back and see status updates. Once the report is approved, it'll lock up so it can't be edited. A trip or expense can go on just one report. If we go to the All screen on the Trips tab, we could see which report a trip or expense is on. Because trips and expenses are added to draft reports as they're classified under the work purpose, submitting the report for approval should really be just one extra click of a button. On the Teams dashboard, we'll see an overview on top that shows me if I have any tasks to complete, like approving reports or marking them as paid. The task assignment is based on the approval flow, which the account owner can set in the Teams settings approval flow section. By default, there's just one approval level, and that's for the direct manager or admin to approve the report. We could add steps if we'd like multi-level approval, or if we'd like a user to mark the report as paid or to receive a copy of that report. Back on the home screen, I can click the View Reports button and then click on the report I need to take action on. These reports contain both expenses and mileage, and we can see that reflected in the total. On this report, we could see the dates of the data, who submitted and who needs to approve, we could edit what information we'd like to view on this report and comment on the report as well. We're also able to download this individual report as an Excel, CSV, or PDF file. Once I'm ready to approve, I could click the Approve button and Confirm. Back on the report screen, we're able to see prior and current tasks for myself, as well as reports for all members in my team. I can use the filters on these tabs to find certain reports. If I click the box here, I could select all filtered reports and download that report summary. These downloads will be emailed to you rather than appearing on the Data Export tab. We could see breakdowns for subteams, mileage and expenses, as well as information on expense categories and purposes. There are additional sheets for trips and expenses on the report summary. All right, that covers how we would submit a report from the app and approve the report from the Teams dashboard. Now, as you use reports, we'd love to hear all about your experience. 
please let us know how everything is going by reaching out to your customer success agent or our support team.